We are in Cusco, Peru, and today we are going to be attempting to eat all of the best local street food in this city. I love how cheap food is in Peru. This tamale was 25 cents. 25 and, cents? Yeah. She said one sole 20, and I thought she said 20 soles, which is like, or $5. I was like, okay. And she's like, no, 1.20. I was like, oh, 25 cents. I can do that. These are traditional all over South America, but I've heard they are especially good in Peru. This one has. Nothing I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Okay, maybe I see why it's 25 cents. There's like that much filling in there. Classic. It's pretty good though. Gracias. Nothing like starting off the morning with a little uh, breakfast churro filled with chocolate. It doesn't taste like a normal churro that we're used to. It's not it doesn't bad. Taste it's like just... Disneyland? <laughs> it doesn't taste like Disneyland. Not bad, it's just different. Here you go. Bye. Cusco is one of the highest cities in the world, elevation-wise, and we're walking up a tiny, tiny incline right now, and we're both out of breath. You got this, baby. I feel like I'm running, but I know I'm crawling. This is 11,000 feet. <laughs> Let's take a break. Never seen so many juice stands in my life. And every single one has the same menu. Apparently, Peruvians love their fresh juice. Look, they weighed you down. Oh, yeah, they are ruthless. That's hilarious. This is one of those moments where, when we're filming, I wish you could smell what we smell. It's just like fresh oranges. Like, it's just citrus. Oh, it's so good. You see the woman over there? She's been wanting us for a while. And if there's one thing I like, I like to be wanted. So let's, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Su favorita. Sumo de naranja, mango, luma y maracuya. Muy bueno. I'll be honest, I didn't understand everything she said. I just asked her what her favorite juice was, and she's gonna make me that. I think you should get the orange with the grenade. Luma, muy delicioso, muy rico. Right, at the same time. It tastes familiar. It's like a sweet potato. She just keeps handing us more fruits. Mango. Oh. Wow. That's amazing. That has to be one of the most fresh, delicious mangoes I've ever had. Alright, so this is passion fruit, mango, some unknown fruit that tastes like a sweet potato. So good. <laughs> and orange juice. I think she's called it Lumpa. There are so many flavors all packed into it. Sweet, it's citrusy, and delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, it's incredible. If I could drink this every day, I seriously would. I concur, doctor. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Okay. This is Anne. She's been serving juice here for 25 years, so gotta come see her. <laughs> Lennon's the star of the show here. He's getting all the attention and he loves it. <laughs> she thinks that he looks all like Jordan, nothing like me. <laughs> I've been feeling like wildly creative lately and I told Jordan that I needed a notebook. When I pictured a notebook, I thought I was gonna get just like a mead plastic notebook that you get at Target. 
not a leather bound, hand carved book from Peru. On top of that, it's $3. I can't help it. Everything here is so beautiful. Like all of South America, this is the most beautiful stuff. On the inside, there's a little llama or an alpaca. It's so cute. We've bought more stuff in the last 20 minutes than we have in 80 countries combined. It's so cute though, it has llamas on it. I don't know about you, but I love it. That is so cute. Do you like it, Nanny? It's sure. This one smells like the best, but it's packed. All of this looks so good. I've mainly seen chicken, but there's rumors of guinea pig, and I'm not about it. Oh my gosh. Yes. That looks good. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm a big believer in choosing the restaurants that are packed. So we picked the one that's packed. We got chicken, rice, beans. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. I'm very excited. We also got some mystery soup. I mean... Give it a try. It's all you, Jordan. It's so good, so well seasoned. I'm really picky about seasonings and they did a great job. All right, I'm doing it, I'm trying the soup. It's not bad, it, it looked a little scarier than it actually is, mainly because of this ball that was on top. It's just a potato. <laughs> the soup's good. Jordan pulled out a spoonful and he goes, oh, what is that? Because it was like clumped together in a weird texture. And I was like, I don't know, is it fish? And he goes, oh, it's rice. We're just always concerned that we're gonna get like hit with something really unique. Oh, crap, he's happy. Oh, he loves it. I'm feeling a little spendy, huh, Jord? I really don't feel as bad, though, when everything is so cheap. Like, this is 50 cents. Hey, Lenny! <laughs> go, Lenny, go! This might be the best toy we've got him. <laughs> <laughs> go, Lenny, go! Hey, Lenny! Oh my goodness! You see now? There he goes. Oh my god. Hey Linda. Oh so beautiful part. Lennon, look! Lennon! Alpaca! <laughs> Next meal, we've come up to this absolutely beautiful restaurant near the main square that has so many good reviews online and was recommended to us by other people. The main reason for coming here is to try two traditional Peruvian dishes. Okay, here's a fun Peru fact for you. Thousands of years ago, potatoes actually originated from the Andes Mountains of Peru. And so, they are a staple with every meal here. And at this restaurant, instead of bread for a starter, they give you potatoes. It's terrible. You're such a liar. I have to say it's terrible because Chloe's allergic to potatoes. But? But it's very good. I thought. There's one thing I can't have. It's an Inca Cola. When you come to Peru, you've got to have one. It kind of reminds me of like a cream soda, but better. Okay. 
All right, so we'll start off with guacamole. This isn't on the menu. We just asked for guacamole for Lennon and it's so good. I ordered the ceviche. They call it leche de tigre sauce. It's like milk and chili and habanero peppers. And then they've got carrots and they have this massive corn. What do they call it? Choc choclo? Chocle? Choclo? Choclo? I don't know. This is corn. Freaking huge. You can find ceviche in almost any restaurant in Peru. It is very traditional. Next up is bruschetta, but they use a local cheese here. So I'm wondering if it's like alpaca cheese. We didn't even order this, they just brought it. They are the nicest people here. That is so good. That's right up my alley. It speaks to me. It's my love language. It's like that vinegary, bitter taste. I love it. The two most recommended dishes for us when we came to Peru were ceviche and this. It's called lomo soltado. It is a beef dish with onions, peppers, local potatoes, and then it's served over a quinoa. The beef is seasoned very, very well. The quinoa with the beef gravy on top, very salty. It just mixes really well together. And then you have some spiciness with the peppers. This is what he does in between bites. I think he's a fan of guacamole. I mean, he's had it in like four countries already. That was seriously one of the best meals I've had in a long time. Things took a bit of a turn at the restaurant. So I, I fed Lennon the potatoes that were on the plate and they had a sauce, but I wasn't intentionally giving him that sauce. And then I started noticing that his lips were getting a bit bigger. I asked the waitress, she said there were nuts in that sauce. I'm allergic to nuts, I think I passed it on to Lennon. His lips started getting a little swollen, some hives. So I hightailed it on out of there. I ran over to the pharmacy, found some what I hope to be children's Benadryl. It was very hard to translate while I was in my panic mode. And we're back at the hotel. We're gonna give him a little bit of a rest. <laughs> yeah, I think you're fine. I'm sorry about that. I was hoping you'd have dad's non-existent hours. Bit of a Lennon update. We did give him some Benadryl. The swelling went down and everything seemed to be totally good to go. So no more nuts for Lennon. Last stop of the day is the one I might be the most excited for. Cacao beans grow really well in the climate here in Peru, and so they make some of the best chocolate in the world here. So we wanted to come check out this little factory where they make everything by hand. It is the weekend, so no one's here today, but they said they'd still let us taste some chocolate. So this is white? I like the white chocolate. Dark's my favorite, so. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. No sugar at all. Okay, here it is, 100. That is so bitter. <laughs> Not bad though. This has got my name all over it. Chocolate covered Oreos. Yes, please. Yes, please. Do you want your own? Because these are mine. Yeah, I want my own. 